Hiya folks, Sandro here with more cartoon news and shenanigans. And if you'd like more cartoon news and shenanigans, then ask you to please subscribe to my channel. In fact, do it right now so you don't forget about it later. And I thank you very much for that, guys. So today, we actually have an article from one of my oldest subscribers. His name is Jolly Dark, but uh, I guess his Discord name is Very Jolly Dark. And he linked me this interesting article about the Patrick Star Show here. Uh, so let's take a look. See, You see here... The article, and that links to this. Uh, we got an article here on sci-fi.com. And who's the article written by? Credit Nickelodeon. No, the article is written by Tara Bennett. So let's read here. This is <laughs> this looks weird, right? Uh, I, I'm getting this weird kind of like Sesame Street kind of gone wrong. <laughs> this looks like the Muppets, but like weird. <laughs> okay, let's find out here. Exclusive, Patrick and Spongebob go retro for Halloween in spooky new The Patrick Star Show clip. So, oh, is there a clip? Okay, we're going to watch the clip then. Uh, I didn't realize there was a trailer. But, um, yeah, so you guys re you guys might remember that. I think it was a couple years ago. Um, Spongebob, you know, Spongebob actually tried something like this. It was called The Legend of Bukini Bottom in Season 11. Uh, this actually aired in 2017 here in Canada. Uh, October 20th. So you guys might remember this one. The Legend of Bukini Bottom. I thought this was a really good episode. Uh, uh, it's been a while since I've seen it. So I don't really remember it off the top of my head. But I remember at the time I watched this. And I'm like, wow. Why is this episode so like good? <laughs> uh, a lot of the season. Uh, I don't know, guys. I feel like SpongeBob had a really great start. And, you know, it happens to a lot of shows. Simpsons, Family Guy, etc., etc., etc. Um, a lot of these long running shows, they just kind of like peter out after a while and it's kind of boring and you know, you you kind of want to shake up. So they did this like awesome, like 3d animation, you know, kind of look like claymation type of deal, um, in this episode. And I thought that was really great. So let's, uh, let's read a little bit more here. Now the Patrick star show, uh, I, I feel like I have negative feelings towards this show. I gotta be honest guys. Um, when I watched the first and second episode, I just felt like the show was going for like this random LOL. So random humor, um, the show is just really wacky and segregated. You know, um, when you watch some of the earlier episodes of SpongeBob, they, they're very cohe, uh, coherent, coherent. That's the word <laughs> I almost said cohesive. No, no, they're very coherent in the way that they flow, right? So, you know, band geeks, it's like, you know, SpongeBob, uh, or sorry, Squidward, actually. Squidward wanted to put the band together and prove to William, uh, Squilliam that, um, you know, he actually has a band that can play a good song. And uh, you get this epic, epic episode. I think that's one of the best episodes of all time, Band Geeks. Uh, what a great episode. And then you have Squilliam, you know, with the heart attack and he falls down on the stretcher and, <laughs> uh, but you know, I watched some of the early episodes of the Patrick star show and it just, it, the show, the episodes are so random. They go all over the place. It's like, here's, you know, here's Patrick doing this. And then there's, you know, SpongeBob's just randomly there. And then, you know, Squidina is assisting, you know, or doing whatever the hell she does. <laughs> Um, I just feel like SpongeBob is a much better tight knit ship than the Patrick star show. The Patrick star show is just random wackiness. You know, it feels like somebody's throwing spaghetti to the wall and seeing what sticks. And apparently, apparently it's working because children love this show. And apparently this is one of the most watched shows. How the hell is that happening? I don't understand, but, um, yeah, so Jolly Dark, I will give you credit for this uh, for sending me this once again, uh, and let's get into it here. So, who is normally pink and very dim, but turns black and white this Halloween? Yup, Patrick Starr, uh, Bill Fogerbake, uh, is doing the spooky holiday upright in a brand new The Patrick Starr Show Halloween special premiering uh, Friday, October 22nd. So that's in two days, actually. Uh, Terror at 20,000 Leagues. Okay, I like the name. You know, uh, that's probably a reference to, uh, what's his name? Jules Verne, right? Jules Verne, 20,000 Leagues Beneath the Sea. I think that's what it's called. 
Uh, I might I might have the name wrong. <laughs> uh, is a stop motion and 2D animation extravaganza celebrating the season with Patrick and his already delightfully bizarre family. I think I'm going to watch this. This already looks interesting. Um, let's see what we got here. Sci-Fi Wire. Um, you know, I don't know what it is about SpongeBob, but recently they've been doing some pretty good Halloween uh, episodes. So I hope that's not how SpongeBob ends up. Like, you know, You know what I mean? Like, Spongebob, this amazing show that's been running for years, stoops to the level of being just a show that does specials here and there. It's like, I want to see more. I want to see some of that old school quality Spongebob and Patrick, you know. Uh, the Patrick Star Show, you know, I don't know if I'm going to keep watching this, honestly. Uh, I feel like I've, I'm already like stopped, you know, <laughs> like, I guess I'm going to watch this episode, but I don't know if I'm going to keep watching the Patrick star show. Um, but I am keeping up with SpongeBob, the newest season. Uh, I, I definitely have seen every episode so far. Um, so let's see what we got here. So we got stop motion, stop motion puppets inside Dr. Plankenstein's castle. Okay. I like that. Dr. Plankenstein. Now that's a great, uh, play on Frankenstein there. It's an old school Halloween look with plenty of felt to go around. Yeah, it does look very interesting. Uh, SpongeBob looks cool. I guess Patrick's supposed to be some kind of Igor. You know, throw the switch, Igor. <laughs> He's Igor is usually the guy who's like, <laughs> yes, master. And he pulls the switch. <laughs> All right, I don't know. I, I must have watched too many Looney Tune uh, cartoons in my day. You know, they always have some kind of Igor character that's always, you know, <laughs> yes, master. Uh, one of those types of characters. And they're usually uh, shorter in nature. But uh, Patrick here looks taller than SpongeBob, funny enough. Uh, you know, it, you, whenever you think of Frankenstein, you think of this giant, tall, seven foot, you know, seven foot tall monster. Uh, but anyways, throughout season one, the episodes, da, 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 uh, stop motion sequences for this Halloween special. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, the stop motion technique particularly lends itself to the Halloween segments because of its raw and chaotic feel. It can add a rambunctious edge to the storytelling he explains yeah uh stop motion definitely you know uh, it, it, it gives it that kind of like nightmare before christmas feel where it's kind of just like a little bit cre yeah like he said kind of chaotic i guess raw and chaotic um and there is I, I i don't know about you guys i saw gumby as a kid you guys ever see the first couple episodes of gumby it's very like creepy uh, the first episodes of Gumby, they don't really have like background music and they just have like just ominous background noise static. And it's very, I don't know, claymation just kind of creeps me out because I watched so much Gumby as a kid. <laughs> if you guys don't know, if you're maybe you're too old or too, or sorry, too young, uh, this is Gumby. This is who Gumby is. Okay. You know, that's Gumby. Uh, first episode, I actually have a Gumby keychain in my house. Um, yeah, so Gumby, I don't know, something about Gumby, man, something about Gumby <laughs> just creeps me the hell out to this day, um, something about it, man, something about it, <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's keep going here, so, uh, adding that it's been an honor to bring, uh, Patrick, Spongebob, and their pals to stop motion of life, uh, the Patrick Star Show particularly lends itself to experiment, uh, experimentation and anarchy. And I don't like that. I, I just don't like that. I don't like what the Patrick Star Show has been doing. It's just a very random show. It reminds me of some of those uh, Adventure Time episodes where they would just change the animation and do this one-off wacky episode. Uh, I, I never really liked those episodes, honestly. But, uh, oh, there's uh, Dr. Plankenstein, I guess. Where's this clip, though? Oh, there it is. There's a clip. Uh, let's watch that on YouTube. 45 seconds, huh? Uh, let's flip that backwards. Oh, this is an unlisted video. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Ew. It, it kind of looks like Plankton's mouth was animated onto a piece of styrofoam. Am, am I seeing that right? Yeah, that, that kind of looks like uh, Plankton. Yeah, right? That looks like a piece of styrofoam and Plankton's mouth. And uh, I guess the eye was there. But uh, yeah, kind of weird. Kind of a weird look. The popcorn looks real as hell, though. <laughs> I mean, uh, 10 out of 10 on the popcorn animation. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's probably real popcorn. Let's be real. Okay. Uh, anyway. Okay. I, I don't like... I think that they should have gone all the way with this. They should have made SpongeBob act more Frankenstein-y. Like, me, SpongeBob. You know, <laughs> give him one of those kind of uh, voices. You know, and uh, Patrick, I think, should have had more of a Igor style to him. They, these are ba they basically just put the costumes of Frankenstein and Igor on Patrick and SpongeBob. They should have changed their voices. I think they should have did a voice change here, or uh, you know, tell um, <laughs> tell the voice actors to sound more scary or something. Hmm. Oh. 2D animation over here. Okay, Patrick wasn't that bad. I don't know about that one. I, I uh, at least Patrick sort of, you know, he's like, "Tell me more, master," or whatever. I don't know what he said. Something master, but like. That actually felt like better voice direction than just not having any at all. Uh, oh, no comment. So it is. It's unlisted. This is actually the official Nickelodeon. 9.63 million unlisted video. Okay. Uh, so I guess only the news sites get secret access to this one, huh, folks? Uh, anyways, that's it from me. So this is... I'm actually going to watch this one. Uh, I thought the legend of Bukini Bottom was so good. I'm actually willing to watch this. Oh, God, Gumby. No, I got to change the tab. <laughs> no more Gumby, God damn it. Um, anyways, where the heck was it? So, yeah, that was it. Uh, very quick 45-second trailer. But uh, I definitely, like I said, I'm going to be watching this one. I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you guys going to be giving this a shot? Did you already sort of quit the Patrick Star Show? Have you been watching every episode of the Patrick Star Show? Maybe you already quit it. Uh, I feel like I've been watching an episode or two here or there. And I'm ready to drop it. I really am. I don't think uh, this is going to be a show I want to keep watching. Uh, especially, it's so weird. It's so weird because... The original Spongebob is still running, and I'm like, why would I watch the Patrick Star Show when it's an inferior Spongebob, and Spongebob is still running? I don't, I, like, I, it doesn't make sense to me, but, uh, yeah, I am gonna check this episode out. I don't know if I'm gonna do a review of it, um, I don't know about that one, I don't know. Uh, I usually focus on 2D animation in this, on this channel, but, um, yeah, all right. Patrick Star Show is technically 2D, so I'm going to let this one slide. Anyways, comments in the comment section down below. Please like, please share, and please subscribe to the channel. The end. Bye-bye. See you later.